Hey everyone, Not Free Mama here. Today I'm going to teach you how to make jack-o'-lantern stuffed peppers. Okay, let's start off with our ingredients. Some of these um, you can change up however you want to put, um, whatever you want to put inside your peppers. Um, what I'm using is some ground beef that I already um, heated through with some chopped up onion. And then you're going to need four or five peppers. Um, of course, you want to use the orange if you're going to do the jack-o'-lantern. And what I did was just cut the tops off, seeded them, um, cut the very tops off of the um, tops of the pepper here. You just cut all the seeds off of those two because we are going to use those. You know, usually if you're eating peppers, you throw those away. And then just um, take all your seeds out, and then you can cut your little faces in. And just make sure there's no seeds left in there, and they're so cute. And you want to go ahead and put those into a baking dish. Then you're going to need some kind of oil, olive oil, vegetable oil, whatever you want. Then some salt and pepper. Like I said, one onion, finely chopped if you want. If you want to put garlic in there too, that's fine. Um, if you want to put chili powder in there, it, it, um, this recipe does call for that, but that's totally up to you. It's two teaspoons. And then you need the one pound of ground beef or turkey. I use turkey. And then one cup of cooked white rice. Um, I went ahead and made that already. And mine was just the instant rice. So I probably have a little more than a cup in there because I used a whole cup of rice making this. It was one cup of water, one cup of rice. And then you need one cup of chicken stock. And we are going to divide that. And then you need one 15-ounce can of fire-roasted tomatoes. And then one cup of cheese. Um, it says Monterey Jack, but I'm going to use the Kobe Jack because that's what my family likes. All right, let's go ahead and preheat our oven to 350. And you want to go ahead and get your meat ready to go. Um, it, you can put your onion in there first. Saute that up with a little bit of oil. And then add your turkey or um, ground beef. Okay, after you have your meat going, you want to go ahead and get your jack-o'-lanterns ready. Like I said, cut off the tops, seed them, um, make your faces, and then we are going to drizzle them with our olive oil or vegetable oil and salt and pepper them generously on the insides. Okay, after those are ready and after your meat has been already browned and drained of your fat, you want to go ahead and bring it back to medium heat, and we are going to add in our fire-roasted tomatoes. Okay, you also want to add in your cooked rice, half a cup of your chicken stock, and three-fourths cup of your cheese, and go ahead and stir that all together. Okay, after your mixture is all stirred up, you want to go ahead and fill up your little jack-o'-lanterns. Um, I stuffed mine pretty full, and um, I did have five, but like I said, I did use a little more rice than the recipe probably called for. All right, next you want to go ahead and top all of those with even more cheese. Looks like a little hair. And then we are going to take our other half of chicken stock and just pour it into the bottom of our pan. Okay, after your cheese is added, you can go ahead and place all the toppers back on. And then we are going to cover these with foil and bake at 350 for 30 minutes. Okay, those look nice and yummy. So next you just want to take your foil off and cook it for 15 more minutes. Okay, these are all ready to go. They just came out of the oven. We're going to let them cool off and then we'll have Taste Tester have a little taste. Okay, taste tester, have a little taste. Okay. Is it hot? Yum. Yummy. Do you like it? Yeah. All right, everyone, come back and see us again, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.